What's up, you guys? Picture me rolling. You know, I, I, I watch Facebook a lot, see a lot of what goes through people's minds and stuff and dealing with this fitness journey. And so there are a lot of frustrations that go along with it. You know, especially considering, especially concerning weight loss, you know, body fat loss. Let's say you put in several weeks of hard work and you get on the scale and your goal was to lose weight, the scale hasn't moved. <clears throat> or your goal is to reduce your body fat percentage and your body fat percentage went up. How do you deal with that mentally? I see this mostly with females, um, but people get disappointed and discouraged way, way too easily. And so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put in the description a link to a Will Smith video where he talks about failure. So I want you to go and watch that video and then pick back up here. So about a minute into the video, come back here. All right, so hopefully you watched the video from Will Smith and what he's talking about in that video, and it's great that he makes an application to fitness. Uh, I wanna clarify a little bit of what he says. He talks about fitness as basically trained failure. Um, you don't wanna exactly go to complete failure on every exercise and every workout. It takes your body too long to recover. And I'm talking about where you do so many reps that you couldn't do another rep even if you rested for a few minutes and came back and did it. But failure in your workout means that after you're done with the workout, you should not be able to complete that workout again. So you've reached the threshold for what you, for what you can do for that day as far as the workout is concerned. So or, or let's say, let's say you're doing squats or incline press or whatever it may be. Even if it's treadmill sprints, you can apply this to anything. When I get to the end of the workout, I should not be able to go through that same workout again. That, if you, if that is what you call training. Training is reaching a point of exhaustion where you cannot go back and just duplicate that all over again. If you can duplicate it all over again, you're just working out. And your body, you're gonna reach a plateau where you're not gonna be able to improve. That's not necessarily the topic for this video, but I wanted to differentiate this, the difference between training and working out. Because you see a lot of people at the gym and they're just working out. And so they get on a treadmill for and walk at an incline for, for 10 minutes till they're sweaty and then they lift a few weights. I guarantee you, most of the people you see in the gym could come back an hour later and repeat that workout. Come back an hour after that, repeat that workout, and do it five times in the same day, and do the exact same, do the exact same workout without having to stop and rest, and do the, do it all over again. When you're training, you're incapable of going back and doing that workout again. Now, when I was uh, when I was in college, I remember we used to have these track workouts that were so hard. We used to have to run like five 200s. The workout was only 25 minutes, but we had to run like five 200s in like 24 to 26 seconds. And then we had two minutes to run 200 more yards to get back to where we started. I couldn't even finish. A lot of times if we had like five, I could usually finish, but if we had like six of them, I couldn't even finish that thing depending on what the time was that we had to complete them in. Because by like four, legs are dying. Like three, you hurt real bad. By four, you're almost dead, man. And then five, you like almost jogging around that thing. At least me coming from football and not having a whole track season under my belt. But there is no chance in the world I could come and duplicate that effort again in the same day. Matter of fact, I couldn't even duplicate it again the next day. Like we had to have a hard day and an easy day. It was rare that we had two hard days in a row, but even if we had two hard days in a row, it wouldn't be that exact same workout. It'd be like sprints or something like that because the workouts are so intense, you can't do it again for another couple of days. That is training. A lot of you are just working out. But anyway, that's my soapbox for this video. Train, don't work out. But anyway, when Will Smith talks about failure, we're talking about 
doing stuff and realizing that failure is a part of the game, right? So you're going to go to the gym. You're going to set out to do some weight, especially if you, let's say you're going to do a max bench press or a max squat. You're going to eventually get to a weight that you can't do. So you keep working and you keep upping your your repetitions and the workouts between your max and maxing sessions. You don't want to max every time. That's not smart. You just continue to up the weight that you train with to increase your strength and then you increase your max down the road. But you're going to have to get to a weight where you're going to fail. You're going to have to try a weight that you can't do. And that's where you fail. When you're doing diet, when you're trying to lose weight, you're going to fail. You're going to have days where you fail. You're going to have cheat meals. You're going to have days where you intended to do good and you ate some pizza or a hamburger. Like you had all the good intentions in the world and you ate the pizza and the hamburger. You're going to have days where you thought you did everything right. And you get on the scale and you gain the pound. And so you're at a loss because you because you failed for that day. You failed in terms of what your goal was for that day, which was to have either you know a slight loss to you know a good loss for the day. So how do you cope with that? You find a lot of people that get discouraged over one little thing, and then they go in the tank. You cannot be involved in fitness without being able to accept failure and then number two to be able to accept responsibility for failure because most of the time it's your fault or my fault when we don't reach our goal 99.9999999999 percent of the time it's our fault I, I monitor and counsel people on weight loss all the time people are making progress are consistent they're reporting they're telling me what's going on with what they're doing they're taking food logs they're detailed they're preparing their meals doing all that stuff when they get off track they stop reporting and every time they come with some excuse like oh I was discouraged because the scale said blah 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 and every time is their fault every time oh I ate out oh I did this oh I did that and then it comes flying the excuses now I'm patient and compassionate but I'm a trainer and my job is to help you get results so the tough love is coming you got to accept the responsibility for what's your fault don't blame your body don't blame your family because they were eating bad food don't blame your medication don't blame your trainer take responsibility for what you did because it's your fault almost certainly it's your fault there are a couple of med medical situations where you know you got to be a little bit more detailed you got to figure out what's going on but that's why you take detailed notes so you can figure out what the problem is and work around it if you're not losing the weight, take responsibility for it because it's your fault. You failed. So now, what do you do? Don't get discouraged. Get your behind back in action. And get back on the grind. Get back on the attack. We don't have time for you to be moping around. We don't have time for that. And all, every time, it's, it's excuses. Every time. So don't make excuses. Just realize and accept the point, the, the fact that you failed. Now there are some situations that you can't control. Like ladies, sometimes your menstrual cycle comes, you get bloating, you can't control that. That's an uncontrolled fail. You're gonna bloat a couple days before your menstrual cycle starts. You're gonna retain a bunch of water. You might gain a half a pound. You might gain one, two, three pounds. All right, that might be slightly discouraging. But it's just water weight, and it's going to go away after a couple days. You know this. It's been happening your whole life. So there's no need to get discouraged. Just wait it out. We're talking about, we're talking about mental preparation for the long haul. So we're looking at trends. 
a couple of days in the grand scheme of things stupid camera is not that big a deal a couple of days with a couple of extra pounds of water weight because your hormones are all out of whack it's not a big deal man so stop making a mountain out of mohair and I know just naturally the female the way females process things you tend to like detailed oriented so the, the slightest little thing setback can weigh on you heavily but you gotta have the mindset of I don't care what happens I'm gonna get this done your motivation has got to be legit like you gotta have the right kind of motivation you gotta have multiple sources of motivation so let's say you're trying to lose that last 10 or 15 or 20 pounds now it can't be the end of the world your primary goal is health first so if you're working towards being healthy which means you're exercising regularly you pay attention to what you eat on a daily basis that doesn't mean that you're not going to have cheat days you're not going to eat out occasionally but if you're working towards or if your health is a priority to you and that shows in your daily activities that you're working out consistently that you're watching what you eat on a consistent basis then you've you've already completed the primary reason for fitness so you're already winning what we do after that is the cherry on top this is that's the extra part that we're working towards so don't get discouraged when that happens now that being said if you continue to just go off the chain and fall off the wagon every weekend you got nothing to complain about and frankly I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear that over and over again so get your life together and then let's get back on you let me know when you're ready to get back on the program this is exactly what I tell people who I'm working with in my turn I don't want to see you send me the same stuff over and over again while you're not even trying while you're not trying hard enough to do what you've done before to get you to where you are or where you were before you took several steps back you've done it before you can do it again you just gotta want it but anyways your motivation has got to be in the right place so your motivation to lose the extra 10 pounds has got to be okay I'm trying to lose this 10 pounds um, for whatever reason maybe it's to to fit in the size clothes that you're trying to get in it could be just to look better naked it could be whatever that it could be whatever that is if you've reached a certain point before and you've backslidden your goal to lose that 10 or 15 pounds may just be to overcome the complacency that got you to where you were or where you are now especially after the holiday season you get complacent you get lazy it's cold it's dark you may have skipped some workouts ate out a few too many times so you took some steps back in terms of your progress and now you're finding it hard to get yourself back uh, back to where you were your part of your motivation is just to overcome the complacency that's my goal even if I'm pushing hard on my workouts I'm more focused on my diet I'm logging my meals now just to just to go overboard I'm making sure I'm getting enough rest I got my um, diet in order I'm not stressed out you got to make sure that you're focused on the things that matter and helping you to get back to where you were and even if you overcome the consistency uh, issues that you had or the complacency issues that you had that's a victory in and of itself go to your workouts every day and kick butt that's a win that's a win regardless of what the scale says regardless of what the body fat says you won because you overcame complacency you overcame inconsistency stop needing to have stop needing to have instant you know gratification all the time because that's not necessary and it's not possible you're not going to have instant gratification every day some days you're going to fail it's going to happen some days you're not going to be able to lift the weight that you thought you could lift when you started the workout some days you're not going to run the mile time that you thought you're going to run when you got there 
Sometimes your 5K or 10K or half marathon is not going to be what you thought it was. Sometimes you're going to be slower than a person that you were faster than last time. You might have failed at your goal for that day. Oh well. Back on the ground. And that's how you reach your goals is because you have an unwavering determination to work. When you fail, you go back to work. And don't expect that just because you set a goal and you worked out hard a couple days or a couple weeks, we're only halfway into January, man. You ain't had time to get discouraged yet. Especially if you've been eating up everything. You ain't even had time to get back in your rhythm yet because you've been gluttoning for between one and five months since summertime when you're at your peak condition. You've been off your game all that time. So it's going to take some time to get back in your rhythm and for your body to get back in its rhythm. Your digestive system has to get back, back in its rhythm. Your metabolism has to get back in its rhythm. All of that has to be in sync and it takes time. It's not going to be a couple weeks in the January after you've been eating up, eating up all the food. And just realize we're in this for the long haul. Now, you might have some short-term goals. Let's say you want to lose 10 pounds or you want to get in your peak shape. When people are getting ready for competition, whether it's bodybuilding or um, fitness or whatever it is, they're working for 8 weeks, 12 weeks, 24 weeks of non-stop discipline on the grind, 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 grind to get in their best condition. If you're not willing to put in that time to see a result, then don't come to the table. You're, you're, you're kidding yourself if you're not willing to put in the time and the determination to get to where you're trying to go. Because it takes a couple weeks just to get into the flow, into the rhythm. And every setback is, you know, every cheat weekend or, you know, over, going overboard, is, is setting you back some. A bad cheat day can set you back a week or two. I've mentioned that in previous videos. So, you got to keep things in perspective, keep it even kill, and realize that you're going to fail. But failure is only a tool to build to build the um, to build the determination or to continue the determination to build an unwavering consistency that leads to success. <clears throat> Michael Jordan, who's considered the best basketball player of all time, his career shooting percentage was 50%, just over 50%. So he failed at shooting half the time. Still the greatest. So consider that. You're going to fail. You're going to have bad days. You're going to have days where you can't understand what that scale is talking about. It's going to have those days. It's going to happen. So you got to be prepared. Don't get on the scale expecting to lose a pound a day because that ain't even realistic. A couple ounces a day. A couple ounces a day if you go like from, you know, 150.5 to 150.2 or 150.3. Average that out over the course of the week. We're talking about a pound and a half or something like that. And then average that out over a course of a month. We're talking about six, seven pounds. You got to have the attention to detail, know what to focus on, and be able to take the, sh the gut check when reality hits you in the mouth and says, hey, this ain't going to be that easy. When you get to that plateau and it's hard for you to cross it, and you got to keep working, you got to keep being determined. Plateaus are there for you to overcome. It's a hurdle. It's a hill. It's a it's a, a challenge that needs to be conquered. And you just got to have the unwavering will to keep attacking until you conquer it. I've been trying to run a sub 20 minute 5K for, shoot, five years. Still haven't got there. I realize that that's my failure. Because I haven't put the emphasis on running that's necessary for me to do that. Now, I've made some improvements um, as far as being able to main the same, maintain the same pace and be uh, 10 pounds heavier. That, to me, is an improvement. I've actually gotten back to, you know, 
strength wise, uh, as strong or stronger than I was in college. So that's something for me to hang on to. Hang on to the small victories. I haven't gotten that 5K time yet, but I'm still working at it. I'm not gonna give up. I'm not gonna give up. I'm not gonna get discouraged. I'm just gonna keep working at it because I know that there's still more that I can do. Stop looking for somebody else to do it or looking for somebody something to blame for stuff that you haven't done enough for. But you can't obsess. You can't be fixated on when things don't go your way. You got to be able to take a licking and keep on ticking. This applies to every aspect of your life. If you're working towards a promotion, you don't get it yet, so what? Get back on your grind. Your promotion may not even be at that job. Your promotion might come from somewhere else. Somebody else might be watching and then they leave to another company and want you to come with them. You got to stay on the ground. If you get discouraged too easily, there's going to be so much stuff that you miss out on. You got to be willing to fail and just get back, just, just brush it off. Ah, ah, I'm gone. It's off. I'm gone. I'm, I'm done. I'm done with that. And keep moving. So anyways, I intend for this video to be that long, man, but I, I feel like some people need it or, you know, a pick me up, something to mo motivate them and a kick in their behind. Get your behind on the grind. All right. Y'all keep, keep hustling, man. Keep grinding. I'll let y'all next video. Peace out.